Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today once again we are up with something from KS Craft and this time something a bit different. So we're going to use this full tag today and it comes with um, two words hello four and we're also going to be using those. So I'm using all of the elements in this. This can be a shaker tag. It's already been done many times as a shaker tag so I'm just going to use it as a plain tag and I'm going to use it as a centerpiece for a four card so that's what we're using now for this I'm going to lay my base down this is my card base so it's a little bit vintage and a little bit garden and I'm trying to think I can't remember the name of the seller but this set came from Etsy and if you search uh, junk journal papers on Etsy then these designs do come up so that's what I've used and I've used a sheet of craft card stock as the base I've also gone around the edge with some black soot I'm also using one of my little lacy frames and if you can get a close up there you can see I've just kind of tickled the edges of that with some black soot just so that it stands out and I want to glue that into the center so I'm going to do that first and then the base of the card uh, as far as I'm concerned anyway <laughs> will be finished so I just need to put a couple of dots you don't have to do all of it but at the same time you don't want it to kind of like come up and stick in the air on you so I'm just going to go there I think there is sufficient glue because of course other things are going to go on top so I now want that to go in the centre and looking at it I think that's correct so I'm just tapping that down and that is now stuck right now onto the tag i'll move that out of the way while it dries you can have a close up there really delicate so pretty right the tag this is what the tag looks like when you cut it out i've actually done mine in craft card stock and then layered a piece of kind of vintagey orangey over the top and gone around the edges with black soot oh that's better yeah so there you can see that now it can be a shaker as I said but I'm not doing it as a shaker so what I did when I cut it out was I kept the craft piece from the base layer I'm going to glue that back in there I cut a pattern piece from that journal pack that I just said gone around all of the edges there with black soot and this is the piece that would turn it into a shaker but I'm just going to use it as a layer onto there so I can't fix those bottom pieces in until it goes down so I'm just going to glue that layer around the edge and it pretty much covers this so if all you do is go around just the edge pieces then you'll be able to pop that down and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto here And I'm going to line it up. It does line up pretty perfectly actually. So we're going to give that a squeeze. Let's scoot that up. There we go. So now we've got the frame section in place and I've cut that piece of paper to go in there now in that pack also come other pumpkins and I've cut two and I used peel paint distress ink to go over the paper just to change its shades slightly so it's kind of up to you which way around you know you have your light or your dark and the fall and the hello words I've done in craft card stock and I've also used some gold glitter pen and just track the word around and the pens that I use are these and uh, if I can find them I'll link them below 
they are Signo Uniball and this one's gold and really is I've got the silver as well they're my favorite sparkle pens they're really lovely so if I find them I will link them so basically just really simple and quick so that's now dry I can bring my base back in because that's dry and I want to get my card slightly or shall I say my tag slightly higher up but I still want it in the center which means the pumpkin is coming closer to your edge so I pretty much want that there now I'm going to glue that flat and then I can insert my other pieces So I want it about, about there I think, I think I'm at my halfway mark, so I'm quite close to the top there. I'm giving that a squeeze and then I want to insert the craft piece back in. around to get that push that down take away all my traces of glue oh, I'm going to have to push that down with my fingernail there we go and then this piece more glue hope everyone's going to have a wonderful day I'm going back in my garden so there's that piece and I've got that into there and then I've got my two pumpkins and it's kind of deciding whether you want to go dark to light and I think that's exactly what I will do actually but I think I want to use some foam yeah so first of all what I like to do is I like to make an embellishment out of my pieces so I've got those where I want them and then I'll just pull that aside and just put a dot of glue in there I'll straighten that up a bit and then I've got a whole piece to put my foam on rather than doing two separate pieces because then you've got to start thinking about if, is your foam that you just put down going to knock into the other piece if you know what I mean so I'm using a Lena Crafts tape which is this stuff absolutely gorgeous I'm going to roll that over I'm going to put that there and I'm going to pop that one just there Now you can go ahead and embellish this with all kinds of things. If you've got this pack or you like this pack and stuff like this, I'm scooting my paper all around again, aren't I? Um, then you can certainly, you know, fussy cut some autumn leaves out. So I've got my pumpkins down there. And I've got my Hello 4. And... I think I'm just going to go like that. Really quick and simple. Yeah, so you know, like a little fox or anything like that, if you've got a die cut, would look really cute on something like this or an owl. Right, so I'm going off the edge there. And then I'm going to try and be totally on it with the fall I'm going to go there just butted up to my pumpkin 
so that needs to dry now I did make a little twine bow and I'm not sure if I want to put it on there or not it might be like over egging the pudding <laughs> but I'm not sure there's a good old-fashioned saying isn't it over egging the pudding have you ever heard of that one in fact I think I will why not I'm going to put a blob of glue in there and I'm going to go away, let it dry and come straight back. Right, so that's almost dry. Still a little bit of uh, white glue showing, but that will dry soon. But you can see the sparkle there on the Hello 4. So really quick, really simple. And if you've got a bunch of other little die cuts or embellishments to put on there, like a little fox or something like that, it would look absolutely fabulous so that comes to the end my week with KS craft and I will be back again there's still three items I do remember them that I haven't made yet and I will be back in a couple of weeks with those but tomorrow we are up with a Panalisa design team haul and uh, wait until you see the awesome stuff in that right i thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful day and as usual all links below bye